Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to properly clean the blower mo motor for the Audi A2. The symptoms of the failure was that uh, there was a climatronic module or, or um, uh, electronic uh, control module for, for air conditioning and uh, uh, when I tried to uh, push on button uh, everything looked okay but sometimes the bar graph which indicates uh, the uh, the volume or uh, or uh, or speed of the fan uh, run up but fun wasn't not impossible to hear so it, it was not spinning so uh, I decided to remove it after some uh, internet search I found that uh, the fan is hold, held in, in place like uh, with, uh, with this cover this cover is uh, held by one two probably three four five screws yes five five ones uh, these one two three bottom ones are easy to remove it is torx number 15 and these upper ones particularly this both uh, this this is possible to remove with the torx 15 ratchet and uh, you can push the your hand into this into this limited space but it is impossible here so uh, there is a mounting hole or service hole uh, right in the middle of the of the of, of the profile aluminium profile which uh, which is part of the body or part of the dashboard so uh, definitely it's not to not needed to remove the dashboard to remove the fan you must only find the proper hole there is a hole uh, just simply drill it, it through and uh, you can push the flexible uh, flexible extension for the torx 15 and uh, you can also release this one so uh, then it is pretty easy it, it, it just popped off so another another procedure is to remove motor itself I strongly recommend to wash it uh, in the water from the inside uh, before you start to uh, dismounting it just because there is a lot of mess this is uh, this is in front of the uh, air filter so so all the mess goes through this fan it is not optimal uh, probably it is the case, uh, it is the uh, root cause of this problem as you can see uh, uh, at the rear so to remove the fan it is pretty easy you should pop out this connector like this you, you must use tiny screwdriver and push this sideways and here in the darkness is the same so if you push this and this sideways you can push it through right through the through this cover you will got this the fan itself is held by these by the clips which fits into these holes it is uh, rubber it is probably it is part of yes it's this Sorry for that stupid focus, I don't know why it doesn't focusing to me. But uh, you simply push this inwards and there are four ones just around. And uh, what will you take is this. This is not nice, definitely. It uh, This should be 
properly cleaned with probably with the petrol. Petrol is ide ideal for these purposes. Uh, don't uh, remove the rotor. Don't remove this this fan. Uh, just because it is probably permanently fixed in here, it is more likely to damage than than to uh, than to remove it. So don't remove this. Just uh, clean it with the petrol first with the water from the dust, and uh, there is uh, dust from the uh, carbon or or brushes and. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to replace the brushes just because they are on the opposite side or are they here? No, they are they are on this side. So so to replace the brushes it is it looks like um, it's strange. Probably to replace brushes, it is possible. It is possible to grind this uh, this uh, press fitted joint here. You can see that it is press fitted here and here and here. Remove the bearing. Remove the uh, motor rotor or rotational part together with the with the fan. And probably then you can replace the the brushes, but it's look it looks strange to me why it is not from this side, but doesn't matter on it now. It looks like that it should be possible to remove some way. Probably if you will be careful and heat this center this center uh, up up to probably 80 degrees Celsius and and pu simply put put it between some wood parts it will be possible to smack it with a hammer or some kind I don't know I really don't know how to to disassemble it probably probably it's thought that uh, that uh, it is it should last its lifetime probably it is for like like uh, lifetime component i don't know why pretty it would be pretty simple if you manage to remove this from that shaft but i'm absolutely not sure because as i can see I think that there are some holes in it, and it's secured with the. It's melted on the on on the shaft, so I really don't know how to replace the brushes. From now, probably, some someone of you will have some idea how to make it without without destroying of the these blades so the root cause you can see it is not spinning freely it is partially no, not much it, it looks like it, that it could move but actually it, it is not ideal so now I will simply clean it with the petrol and uh, uh, and flush it with the compressed air or or what, the remove dust uh, or remove this this uh, dust and and carbon from from the brushes it's very strange if you look at that motor that magnet it's pretty funny i don't know it if this is a purpose but you can see that this gap is not evenly distributed probably it could be purpose but i never seen anything like this in the past strange doesn't matter on it uh, 
so now you can see how to how to clean it it's pretty simple uh, assembly back I will not describe assem uh, uh, assembly back just because it is it is obvious hope I hope uh, you will enjoy this uh, hope it will be helpful for some for somebody yes it is left hand drive and right hand drive version just because it must spin on the opposite direction when you have right hand drive car okay so this is all for today hope uh, it will be helpful for some one of us you can comment if if you have an idea how to re remove this rotor to be able to get to the brushes uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, and uh, I, I really don't know what how to make it I will only clean it and hopefully the brushes are okay okay so definitely everything for today I'm, I'm just a little bit tired I'm sorry for that have a nice day and see you next time